Thank you. Um, it was 99% of the direction happens in, in the script. Um, and then I think a hallmark of his um, uh, career as a f filmmaker has been the casting. And when I heard the, the extraordinary cast that was being uh, assembled, you felt like 99% of my work had already been done for me. Um, but it's a, bit, it's a bit of benign neglect. You know, he lets you go. Um, and he wants to see what you're going to throw at the material. Um, so there's a lot of invention and play, obviously, with the other actors. And because you, you, I mean, Matthew was talking about not having a lot of takes. We certainly didn't have a lot of takes, but we, he also doesn't... There's a storm coming. Uh, <laughs> nice to know you all. If we all die here, it's in service of the film industry and my career. So thank you all. Um, uh, but we all, he also doesn't cover. The cover, so you, you know that you're you're not he he's not going to get to the editing room and be able to cut away from things. So for me, it was quite theatrical in a way, and I, I certainly couldn't have approached the role without working with everyone at the Sydney Theatre Company. So um, and I, I think probably there's a, a theatricalized sense to uh, to Jasmine that, that um, really you know as a as a character that really ignited with his style of filmmaking. I think I think you said it. I think you know um, it, it did. It a, is a film that um, well, he constantly does that with his films. I mean, he's got a ready-made audience in, in, in a way, and um, we the actors can't take the credit for that. But um, it it certainly um, he always works on a shoestring. I mean, my that Birkin that I was carrying was um, worth more than Susie Benzinger's co entire costume budget. Um, and I kept throwing it on the ground and she was having sort of conniptions as I was doing it. But it's, um, it's, I mean, that's where you need really smart distribution and really smart producers. And um, he's had a long time relationships with his producers, but also to have Sony Classics behind him that, that helped it get out and, and find the audience it did. And, um, you know, it's a film led by a, a woman and people, you know, you, why are we still saying this in 2014? But people are interested. <laughs> I can bear, it's so, being 17 is so far away from where I am right now. Um, probably brush your hair. Yeah, and your teeth. Oh, Susie Benzinger was absolutely instrumental. I mean, my relationship with a costume designer, both in the theater and in film, is crucial. Because it's, you don't, there's no such thing as rehearsal, really, on, on film. Most of the time, it's just staving off anxiety. So um, the, you get to stand in front of the mirror and try out things. Um, and and um, you chart the, the I, I love the process of, with a costume designer of charting a character's journey through their physical um, the way that we express ourselves, because we all do. I mean, I thought about what I was going to wear today. It doesn't look like it, but you obviously thought about what you were going to wear today. <laughs> I had someone helping me. Um, I don't know, maybe you have people at home helping you brush your hair. 44-year-old woman who still needs someone to help her brush her hair. It's a bit sad, but anyway. Um, and it's a, look, it's, a, it's a, an absolutely crucial uh, relationship. But the process is revealed by the material, and um, what you need to do is... Um, yeah, that, that's given to you. And then you just got to work with the other actors. It has to happen between you, particularly in a Woody Allen film. And the cast was extraordinary. Thank you. Thank you. For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitVix on Twitter or visit HitVix.com.